Hello, and welcome back to Banner Saga. Fighting for first is irksome at the best of times, nearly intolerable in these conditions. You break through miles of razor edged balls, gasping to catch your breath in the open air, on the hills ahead rises Rich Horn, finally. You see him? This Volker over stands motionless far up the hill, clearly watching the caravan. Now I know how it feels for all those poor bastards who saw us coming. Hard to know how what he's thinking at this point, says Oli. Expecting us to do what we would do, or the opposite, or expecting what we'd expect him to Sparbox. No what I do! Cook some food! Sleep! But he won't see that coming! Oli scoffs. You're just tired of walking, old man. Look up things. Spar might be right. We'll make it look suspicious enough to throw him off and everyone rest before each one. No look out. No look out, you ask, as they prepare the gunfire, Fogar shakes her head. That's what makes it look like a trick. But do whatever you like, I won't stop you. Sure, settle with the rest. You put your thrust in Fogar's hands and lay on the hard ground. Time passes slowly. Soft crunching catches your attention. You swear under your breath, grabbing for your axe, but your hand finds empty air. In a panic, you jump to your feet and scan the ground. No axe. The crunching gets louder, turns into thumping. Three branches abandon cradled bundles of snow. Like a blue blood moon, Delaware suddenly storms out of the darkness in gleaming red armor. There's your missing axe, jutting from a bleeding bundle in his arms. The ground shakes from his roar. Or sleep either? Alfred asks. She crouches over the fire, her strange shape fluttering in the firelight. The campsite is still, aside from the gentle crackle of firewood. Just dreams. Some people think dreams are omens. Those people are idiots, but they can certainly be a fine distraction from our troubles. Not my sort of distraction. I'm sorry if I dredge up old memories back at the Godstone, so to speak. There's more to that story. Would you like me to tell you? I think you should. You've heard one half already. How the Valka came forth during the Second Great War, with fire and fury to push the sculptors to extinction. Gestures theatrically. So I've heard. Perception. Paint themselves the heroes. What the Valka really did was make their foes a promise. Abandon the war and there would be share secret knowledge. The Valka taught them to write. They taught the stone singers to weave. And for the first time the sculptors learned how to make more sculptors to thrive. They kept their end of the bargain and remained hidden. At least until recently. How do you know this? They have their own history and craving carvings. I've read it on the great black stones in their dark home. As their trusted guest. Uh, what I don't understand is why you trust these Valka. You stare into the fire and it shows you old shapes. When you speak, it's almost as if to yourself. When I killed Rhys, when I returned to my kind with her head. Ingvar, they chanted. None had seen a Sunder before. They wanted to make me the King Skander. I couldn't. They haunted me, Bellower and Rhys, and that then child. Every night, like tonight. Maybe it sounds like nothing to have bad dreams, but it rubs you raw. raw. It gets in your bones. So I left the world. I found a small town of men where nobody knew who I was. Nobody called me Ingvar. Ivar never had dreams like that in Skogur. So that's why I agreed to come with Juno and Eivind. The truth is, Juno didn't ask me to join them. I asked her. The flames continue to dance hypnotically on that bridge in Einartoft. I stood before Belwer. I could have moved, but I just held up my shield and waited for the end. What's that, Ivar? The name snaps you out of a trance. You stand and stretch your legs. Your axe is where you left it, and the ravens are beginning to sing in their hands. It's nothing. Have to rest at least three days, right? 
yeah, we have to rest. Bercy tosses in his sleep until he finally huffs and gives up. He sees you're also awake and comes to sit nearby. Rebel. I don't know how these damn ravens do it. I can't just pass out at the moment's notice. Are you not one of the ravens? I can see how you might get that impression. I joined Bulwark at Borsgard because the Valk asked me to, but and then that went wrong I got and when that went went wrong, I got dropped into this like everyone else. Press weaves a frown and leans on his axe handle. Juno and Awin ask you for you personally? Let's not turn this into something bigger than it is. I do work for money. The vendors pay well. I've got some history with them. That's it. Alfron had something interesting to say about that. What kind of history? And can't you tell I didn't want to talk about it? I did old jobs, some worse than others. They asked for a lot of weird stuff, but I'm one of I'm but I'm not one of them. If that's what you're wondering, I'm just trying to finish this and drink it off like every other job. Press you. Yep. So you work for yourself. Never go to get into that ore bones, the hills, stuff like the rest of you. Why should I care about the dredge or dying in battle? I would rather have the means to do what I want. Live comfortably. Eat well. There's out there's a lot of men out there thrilled to hire Val for some blood work, so I thought I would do that for a little while. Now it's a lifetime later and I've never got rid from it. I spent my whole life chasing work while others profited. One time I traveled with a prince and his tax collector. Though that was going to be my big payday. People just handed their money all over. Well they tried into a huge guard because we told them they had to. Practically robbery. Eventually the cart fell over a cliff and exploded into a shower of gold coins, never to be seen again. I've never shed a tear over killing a, woman, a man, but that I cried like a lost baby bird. It happened pretty damn close to this very spot, now that I think about it. <laughs> I can't leave this darkness though. It's probably all twisted up and dark as dog turns now anyway. Maybe there's some more true moral there, but I'm not digging for it. What do you think about this job? If you made the Valka, you would be a fool to trust them. I've done some questionable stuff on their behalf, let me tell you. And if you mean saving the world, I couldn't care less. What has the world ever done for me? This day I'm just putting one foot in front of the other. There's still the tiny spark of hope that I might profit from this somehow. Pretty bleak way to live. Nothing left to lose, nothing but sleep, anyway. Okay, so let's sit quietly. They wake up. Keep the rest of your thoughts to yourself. It would be an awkward silence if you weren't both fall. Looks like it's time to get going. You know, Ivar, you can tell he's debating whether to get something off his chest. When I worked for Valka, one of the jobs they paid me to do was to find you. You'd gone into hiding and they wanted to know where. Do I dare ask why? Truth is, I don't know why. I don't ask questions, but I never found you. I have a feeling if I had, things would have ended up differently between us. So I'm glad I never sniffed around you any small towns like Skulker, for example. Percy leaves with a pat on the shoulder, and you realize you'd never mentioned Skulker to him. We're fine now. Yes, we are. Great! I actually want to promote you. Sure. You did that. Hmm. Actually, yeah. He often goes alone. Oh, right. Two more points. Those two will talents. Mm -mm. So let's leave.
We're close. I can see the tower just over this ridge. That means Bulwark's close too. <laughs> Bulwark is waiting ahead, Juno says, and the caravan slows. He is patient with dangerous allies. I believe he intends to stop us from entering Witchhorn. I will lead Bulwark away, Juno says. Erwin looks blankly into the distance as though he already knew what was coming. But Juno continues. The rest of you will wait for my return with, a, with an Witchhorn. How are you going to do with Bulwark? He cannot be controlled, but he can be misled. He doesn't know where we're headed, and will believe he is pursuing us past which horn. I will return, one way or another. Focus steps forward. I don't trust you, and even if I did, you can have a bulwark on your own. We split the caravan. She volunteers herself, Oli and Spar. Give each other doubt, she's look. Do <laughs> dubious look. Focus. I don't take orders, remember? I support Juno's plan. Unbelievable, you two! Fine, Juno, but if you have any thoughts of screwing us over, just remember who you left a wind with. Juno departs ahead of the caravan until her own light disappears over a hill. The rest of the caravan cautiously approaches Reed Horn, a wind carrying the light. Fresh fruit footprints trail off into the snow, following Juno's diversion. The way appears clear. I've been told this is where they found Juno the first time. Now they say it's the entrance to another world. How far had she already come just to fall here? Great horn, this brings back some memories. None of them good. Eowyn curses when he sees the rubble around Richhorn's tower. The tremors caused by the serpent have caused many structures to topple here. Eowyn exclaims, There should be a doorway leading to... Give me some time. He says, running off toward the base of the tower. You can see him waving his Valka staff, heaving enormous chunks of rock aside through sheer willpower. Little help! shouts Valgar, drawing your attention back to the forest courtyard. Borvark is nowhere inside, but his warped allies that miss you slipping over the bridge. Okay, come on, guys. Yeah. Okay, so we're basically all uh, must too will to allies within two thousand ally who delivers a clean blow. You could use it. Wait, what were you wearing? Plus two will, plus two strength. I minus aggro, yet you still get aggro the most. I'll give it to you. Anything else that we can nope. I that's my Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> oh well. I still can't remember what are they the renown is shared. This is why I'm so cautious about spending it. Those look different. Vicious warfare. That? Some kind of horns. Let's stick together. <laughs> you know what? Let's wait for them. We'll wait. Mm. Nope. Oh no no. 
that guy is still. Oh, here is fine. I want to play it more like chess than. Just rushing in. You should be fine. Oh, right. Forget about that. Yes, five. Of course. Oh, there's another one. Some reason I thought that was ten. Oh my god. <laughs> that would have been bad. So bad. Have something to do. Now you. Some singer has to hit everyone once. And not get hit. Yourself. Oh, you. It is done. Not fast? Nice. You have knockback? Oh, you have knockback. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> they all has eighteen. We're not done yet. Way. Ah! Next, that guy is next and can do anything. Don't okay. I should use your stones. He's absorbing lots of damage. something we're not done not yet that's okay oh. yep. Sorry, sorry, Ivor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, oh, no, we're not doing that. Let's save our archer. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? Why is it? Uh, why it doesn't work properly? So like this. Ah! 
Yeah, she is down. I wanted to save her, but yeah. The one. That's so bad. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, yes, as he's done. Wait. Oh, attack this guy. Oh, he's poison. I can't tell who's poison and who's not. I want you to move over. Yeah, I like this. The ninety percent. Oh, he's fourteen. We're going to this way. Gone for his armor. <laughs> Seriously. Have been better, but could have been worse as well. If this is what Bover can bring to bear, you can only imagine how much worse it would have been if you were here. The troubled chatter of the ravens turned to stone cold silence as a figure glides toward Rich Hoon's camp. Crossing the bridge, it almost appears as if she is floating in her wind blown dress. Pale as a specter. She crosses the courtyard wordlessly, heading up the tower. In your head, you hear a team voice. When you are ready, join me. You must have even both like the real run up, run around, says Spar. He keeps glancing at the bridge as if expecting to summon the berserker by name alone. I think I better make a sure I win's almost done. How about I whistle when it's time to go? Afro offers to ferry you anyway to go. I think it's a very good place to end this part before we get to an hour <laughs> in a blink of an eye. So, for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!